Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Moink Balls. That's kind of a funny name for bacon wrapped barbecue meatballs, isn't it? Well, Moink actually has a meaning. The meatballs are made out of beef, which gives you the moo, and then they're wrapped in bacon, which gives you the oink. Put that together and you have Moink. But what if you make your meatballs out of pork? Well then, you'd have bacon wrapped pork balls, which is pork on pork, so you'd only have the oink. So then they'd be called oink balls. And that's what I'm going to make today. Porky delicious cinnamon apple oink balls. That's right, nothing goes better with pork than cinnamon and apples. In a large mixing bowl, pour in a snack sized cup of unsweetened applesauce, one egg, black pepper, dried minced onion, and kosher salt. Then get your hands in there and give it a good mix. Then add some panko breadcrumbs and continue adding breadcrumbs until everything comes together. Mixing all this together before adding the meat will help distribute everything better and you won't overwork your meat which makes it dense and tough. Once everything's thoroughly combined, add one pound of ground pork and mix it all together. Once everything's mixed together, grab a handful of the meat mixture and gently cup and roll the balls in your hand. and then continue this process until all the meat mixer is gone. I was shooting for 16 meatballs but could only squeeze out 15, so they're a little more than an ounce a piece. You can make your balls as big or small as you like. Once your meatballs are all formed, wrap each one in a half a piece of bacon. I'm using thick cut bacon, which I normally don't like to use because it usually doesn't render or shrink well, which leaves you with a little bit chewy bacon versus crispy bacon. This is also uncured bacon, which I've never tried, so because I wanted to try it and it was the only bacon we had in the house, that's what I used. Continue wrapping until all your balls are wrapped with bacon and secured with toothpicks. I forgot one important thing that you cannot make apple cinnamon oink balls without. Cinnamon. So instead of deconstructing the balls, I simply sprinkled both sides with cinnamon, which ended up working just fine. The oink balls went into the fridge while I got the grill going. I'm using my Gorilla Grills Kong Ceramic Grill for today's cook, but any grill, smoker, or even your oven will work. You just won't get the smokiness if you do these in the oven. I have the Kong loaded up with lump charcoal, that I'm going to light a small spot in the center with my hose torch. After it's lit, add a few small pieces of apple wood. Then set up the Kong or whatever grill you're using for indirect cooking. Then close the lid and leave the bottom and the top vents open 100% until the Kong gets up to 200 degrees. Once the Kong's at 200 degrees, close both vents 75% and the temperature will continue to rise and settle in between 250 and 275 degrees. Once the Kong was settled in between 250 and 275 degrees, it was time to add the oink balls. Once all the balls were settled in nicely, we added some leftover bacon to snack on while the oink balls smoked. Now close the lid, let the Kong do its thing for about an hour. And of course Bella the Wonder Dog had to make her usual cameo appearance while begging for a snack. If you want to buy some Wolf Pit merchandise and help support the channel at the same time, check out the link to the shop in the description. More items should be coming soon. After an hour, our bacon was done and looked really good. I was really looking forward to trying it since I had never had uncured bacon. 
and after eating a couple pieces, I wasn't a fan. I'll be sticking to the usual cured bacon for now on. To me, the young cured bacon was very bland. Although it was a hearty piece of bacon, it just didn't have much flavor. Rather than basting the oink balls with the usual barbecue sauce, I decided to use just a little bit of honey, which I thought would really complement the cinnamon and the apples. Once they were all coated with a thin layer of honey, I let them cook for another 10 minutes. After an hour and 10 minutes, our oink balls were ready and they looked and smelled really good. And of course I had to try one, for you, the people, so you know exactly what my taste buds were experiencing. After taking my first bite, there was a party going on in my mouth that I wish I could have invited all of you, the people, to enjoy with me. Even though in this case the bacon didn't add much flavor, the cinnamon, apple, and honey combination was simply a flavor bomb of flavors. I was a little worried in the beginning that I added too much breadcrumbs, but the texture and moisture of these oink balls was amazing. Had I used the normal bacon I used, these would have been absolutely perfect. I'll definitely be making these again, and I hope you, the people, also give them a try. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.